Hi there Wargamers, it's the Dambringer and here with a, another vlog episode on Mythic Battles uh, this time we're going over some um, um, some of my, 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 my showcase and the paint models I've painted I've, I've had painted um, for um, for this wonderful game with these wonderful minis so I thought to start off with the um, the miniatures in the, in the actual base game and then we'd move on to the actual Pandora box which was the, um, I think it was technically stretch goals or something like that, but anyway, it's more stuff. Just an easy way to, um, to divide them all up. So we're starting off with um, the four gods from the, the base game. So we've got uh, Hades here on the end, Athena, Zeus and Ares. Uh, now, I only painted three out of four of these, um, which is not a bad thing, but a um, very good friend of mine, Spud, uh, painted Zeus for me. Uh, we'll have a look, close look at him in a bit. And um, I'm very grateful. He's, he's done quite a few models for me as Spud, and he's doing, going to do quite a few more. Uh, we'll cover that more as as we come across the models he's he's done. All, all the bases are done by me um, through um, air drying clay and uh, green stuff world texture rollers. Um, we'll have a close look at those in a bit. So um, without further ado, we'll um, we'll, we'll 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 tie these up and uh, we'll um, have a close look. Um, you know, one by one, and have a have a bit of a um, a chat about each one. Um, there might not be much of a chat about about them to say about them, but um, well, well, who knows? Here we go. Anyway, guys, let's have a little jump, and we'll do the old um, kind of like thing, and go like that. Right, guys. After that little jump, um, we're going to start off with the Lord of Olympus himself, Zeus, uh, painted by um, Wargamer Spud. Uh, did a cracking job of this guy. Did something with a skin that I, what I would never be uh, brave to do, um, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Got an amazing um, brassy gold going on here with the armour and the the hands, and even a bit of OSL on the uh, lightning bolt that's got his hand there. And um, really did really did justice to this model and this glaring on the light there. Just a second. There we go, it's a bit better. You can see his face a bit better. You probably can't tell there, but his um his eyes are glowing a bit, a bit of OSL on the eyes there, and the lovely little headdress he's got on as well. Nice, I love the hair what he's done on this guy, and he's um ready to do battle. And obviously the uh, the first look at the uh, the bases there, the Greek roller which has uh, got all these mosaic type things which I've nicely picked out in well, nothing complicated. Um, I'm using these can these these rollers for the the heroes and gods. So let's uh, jump onto the next one, which will be Hades. Next, it's the man, the legend, it's Hades. Um, this is about as brave as I get with flesh tones. Um, went for a really pale one, considered uh, there's very little sun in the underworld. <laughs> um, went on a bit of a, uh, a red glow on the eyes there, as the old folks catches us. Um, Really interesting weapon he's got there. It's not a tri it's not a trident because he's got got three prongs or or is that little knobby one count as a prong? What do you call a, a, a is it just a fork? If he's only got two um two little prongs. So this one's quite an interesting one. Got um, went for a nice nice purple there on the actual clothes. Um, bit of a, a simple um, effort on the shield there. Bit of golden dark metallic, and again went for a dark palette for this guy because obviously he's the underworld um, lord of the dead and uh, the is it uh, is it's, it's a master of um, is it Tartarus or is that somewhere else? I'm a bit hazy on the old Greek mythology and I, I, I love this curved sword he's got going on the back here, so I went for a black scabbard with a, a nice red um, um it's not a hilt. Handle, handle, do it anyways. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm not uh, an expert when it comes to weapon t uh, names and types and things. So that was Hades. We'll um, go on to the God of War next, Ares. Next, it's Ares, the God of War. This model has got really a really nice pose on him going, as a really angry uh, face going on. I know I, I really struggle when it comes to faces with um, helmets on. I suppose, well, the 
obviously if it's only got a if it's got a, if it's an open face helmet it's fine but the, these um nasal ones which are only got a really small um open are really struggled but I, I did I did like the nice blonde I got in his hair there so I think that was quite uh, quite good and it's not quite focused there. give me a second there we go that's better so mixed up a nice colour for his um, tassels and his sword to make it uh, so it wasn't quite the same as the uh, everything else I really like how the, actually how the skin turned out on this guy as well I was quite happy with that one, the clouds were really nice and billowing yeah not quite so dark as Hades and again uh, not more texture work on the bases right so that was Ares then on to the last god at the moment Athena right last model in this little showcase for now it's Athena um, the wife of Zeus and mother of many of the gods in the, the in the pantheon um, I was considering doing this owl gold like um, the one in Clash of the Titans but then I realised that's complete um, uh, is it anachronism um, it's something they added for the movie and um, here's me thinking it was like some some Greek myth that this um, mechanical bird that was uh, would help out um, Perseus. I think it was Perseus um, in that one, but no, it's just some random thing. It's, it's like it's like that um, the, the, their version of Jar Jar Binks probably. But anyway, so went with a classic owl. I say classic owl, but it's the first first time I painted now, as you can probably tell. Um, turned out all right. Um, did an interesting uh, metallic um, turquoise type thing on 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 the um, the loin cloth mail type thing and the shield. Um, got some tamia red on the on the eyes of the shield, but you probably can't. It's not quite showing up on the camera, but it might show up in the uh, still later. I built this um, white up from a, from a really from a, from almost like a turquoise actually, or a blue. And it worked quite nice, and a bit of touch of red on the sash there. Yeah, so I don't. I I I often struggle with female um, skin for some reason because they don't tend to be as defined as the males. So it's a bit hard for me to actually realise where I'm actually meant to be going. So that's Athena. So I'm going to do some um, stills uh, to put into this video for. For you guys to um, look over if you want to. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit the like button. I'd, I'd really appreciate that if you if you liked what you saw. Um, if you can hit the, if you if you want to see if you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and, and um, hit the bell button so you can see when more uploads go up. Oh god, I'm doing everything now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and on with the showcase showreel type thing. See you all later.